head. I was. I was singing Meg in my <laughs> Y'all know, like, I have a problem. Y'all know I have a problem. It's not my fault, y'all. Don't start with that glow and stuff. No, I, I appreciate the glow comments. But then y'all be following up with the am I pregnant? And no, okay? No one is shooting my club the fuck up, okay? <sighs> Trying to keep all the ovaries I got in. I don't know how long it's going to last, y'all. I'm getting old. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm young as fuck, okay? I'm 25 in my head, so I don't know which one I want to use. Oh, okay, let me use this first. I can't order the hair mask because I can't log in. Everybody's been saying it. Some people have been saying they have that problem, so I'm going to go check on it when I get off here because some people are having a problem with the hair mask. Some people are able to buy it. I don't know what that's about. You shouldn't have to sign in, so let me see what is going on because that's starting to get on my nerves, like... Some people are having no problem. Like when my assistant tried to get on there and do it, she was, I, I had her check and, you know, try it today. And she said she didn't have a problem. When I tried to go on there and buy it, it worked. So I don't know. And, you know, she's not signed in. And I'm the only person that can go like on the back end. So I'm going to have to check it out. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. So yes, but if you can get on there please get my products okay this is mine i use it all the time it smells so good okay and you can also get candles as well i have done a little light restock on my candles so help you girl out okay like i said i done done enough tarot for y'all okay y'all can pay for some of my other stuff like i said the other day so your first card out in reverse is saturn yeah, it might be the browser because that is something too. You might need to try a different browser or clear your memory, but I'm definitely going to check it out when I get off because it shouldn't be doing any of that. But yeah, so with um, Saturn in reverse, I think technically am I natural? What is, is it natural when you don't perm your hair or some shit? I don't know. I think technically I might be natural, so me too. So with the truth in reverse, um, there's been a lack of discipline in your life and that's going to be at the forefront in your for your day okay um so you guys are going to really be paying attention to where you've been lacking discipline okay let's see let's see one more yes saturn is all up and through y'all reading okay he is not playing with y'all so yeah some of you guys are going to be looking at where you've been slacking off when it comes to your actual career okay some of you guys um you might have Saturn retrograde in your chart, which if you have Saturn retrograde in your chart, you really need to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're supposed to do in this life because um, Saturn retrograde usually means you're already repeating a life cycle. So like myself, who is probably like a 60-year-old, 50-year-old woman probably in this body, it's like that. Even though people don't be believing me, but I am. Like, I act young, but I be feeling like a mean old woman on the inside. I don't, I don't know sometimes. All right. What else is coming through fruition so yeah some of you guys have to put some bad habits to rest okay bad habits bad connections okay this is really talking about your willpower right now yeah saturn return saturn keeps coming up in reverse so it's either one of those two things you have saturn retrograde and you're ignoring your path or um you are not disciplined enough so you guys need to make sure that you're focusing on where you're not disciplined enough because you got money on your mind okay um you got money on your mind, but you are not focused enough. It's like it's on your mind, but it's not actually the work to bring it into fruition is not being done for a lot of you. Okay, so that's not going to resonate for everyone. I don't want these cards yet. I want this, these cards. You guys can tell I have like 50 decks out here. It's because I was just doing readings for YouTube. So that should be, those should be posted within the next hour or so. I have to finish. I'm about to do Scorpio's reading. I'm about to do Gemini. And no, I'm not about to do the readings that y'all call out for me to do. I'm going to do the ones that I'm doing. Just letting y'all know. Just letting y'all know. All right. And I have to do a fucus too. So a fucus, that's already done though. Um, we have the king of pentacles. Okay. So money is definitely on you guys' mind. Some of you guys have been um, dealing with someone who has been mentoring you or they've been trying to guide you in the right direction so you guys need to make sure that you're paying attention to people who are um maybe more successful than you and not in a negative way but there if there's someone in your life that's doing really well for themselves and they're and they could be doing something that you want 
um, to do as well. You might want to pay attention to that person. Yeah, there's a lot of slacking going on, you guys. The sun, a lot of sleeping, okay, when you need to be doing shit, okay, a lot of laziness going on. I'm just being honest. This, I'm talking to myself, y'all. I'm not just talking to uh, y'all. I'm talking to me, too. All right, let's see. The five of wands. But I feel like you guys are going to pick up the pace. I feel like within the next week or so, um, you guys are going to be picking up the pace. I feel like you guys are going to kind of feel more motivated because this is Mars and Leo. So you guys are going to be feeling a lot more motivated. The Fool, yeah. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, I like it. I like it. So you're going to get out of this rut. Some of you guys are like stuck in a rut. That's what this is. You've been stuck in a rut. Either someone's going to be helping you out of this. Like I said, there could be someone. It could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Somebody who has that strong in their chart. Or they're just a business-oriented person. Or someone who's like a mentor. This could also be you, you know, pulling yourself out of this. But I do see for some of you, there is someone in your life that is significant to you. This is really work-related. I don't really see a lot of, like, love stuff right now. This is very work-related. Some of you guys are going to be gaining more clients or more contracts I'm hearing this is all about your legacy yeah I feel like your finances are going to improve if you are a business owner though like or you're a business owner or you're a creative you're a content creator or you do something creative for a living I feel like you're going to be really really successful in that like just saying for the not saying that if you work a job you're not but there's only a certain, I'm not going to say that there's only amount of certain successes you can achieve with the job, but it is kind of, it's just the truth. I mean, if you have other streams of income with your job, then great. That also can, that also can mean you are doing what you're meant to do, but you also have other forms of income. Like this is the time to have multiple forms of income. If you only have one income, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for you. I'm not going to say it's not going to, but it's going to be a little hard. Okay. So I mean, unless you got a sugar daddy or something. So, you know, that's that works. But that you might want to have something a little bit more secure. Just saying. I'm not against that. You know what I'm saying? So for love, we have the Empress. I'm going to pull some love cards because this is really work stuff. But we have the Empress. That's a good card for love, right? So what else is coming out for love? <laughs> the Justice. The Five of Swords. Hmm. There's someone who's being petty in your life. Could be an air sign, an earth sign. <laughs> There's someone who's being super petty. Why? Why though? What happened? Yeah, some of you, it's an earth sign for sure. There's like, you guys are in, in relationship with somebody that, I don't want to say it's competitive, but I feel like you two do something very similar for work or you're both business people. And there is a little bit of competitiveness, um, a little bit of maybe this person feeling some type of way because you're more successful than them. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's somebody who wants to marry your ass without a doubt. Look at this. We have the Empress, the Star, the Hierophant. Okay. We also have the Justice here. So this person knows what's up, but they like to keep it really casual with you. This person doesn't want you to know how, how what they really feel about you. If you guys have like an online presence or something, like you have a YouTube, like myself, who have a lot of people who stalk me and act like they don't, that's probably what's going on for you guys as well. Like I'm definitely getting a lot of YouTuber energy or like online people right now. Like I don't know why, whether you just post a lot or you post on your story, but this is more for people who have followings. I don't know why I'm getting that, but... Definitely, um, there could be an earth sign or a Cancer, an Aquarius, a Libra, an Aries or something, a Taurus, whatever. They're like watching you a lot, but this person doesn't want you to know how they feel about you. So they'll keep it really casual when they connect with you. The Page of Wands, they're going to keep it real casual. Okay. King of Wands. You could even have two people. That's always fun. All right. I'm seeing a Sagittarius though in a, in a Leo. If it's um, any of those signs, this five of swords, what's this about? Why are they acting like this? They know you're right too. So some of you guys are something that you're right about and they don't want you to know that you're right. Yep, seven of swords and nine. Oh, so they got issues. Oh, this person got issues. They're fucking, they got trauma and shit. They don't trust people. Some of you, it's because you're too attractive. Like you have too many people that are interested in you with this five of wands here. So they don't like... This person feels like they don't want to be one of your options, which I don't think you see this person that way. With the King and Queen of Pentacles here, I don't think you see this person as an option. I think you actually 
want to grow with this person, but you also aren't going to chase them with the Empress. You have no need to. You're fulfilled on your own. And as they already know, you got options. You know what I'm saying? You got options. <laughs> so um, I don't know if they don't have options. Maybe they do, but they have some trauma. So this person might have been cheated on before. Um, I'm hearing the song by Sean Kingston. Isn't it called Be Beautiful Girls? Yes, it's either that or um, I'm also hearing um, the Usher song. You remind me of a girl that I once knew. There we go. It was, it was coming. It was coming. But yeah, so I see your face whenever I look at you. So maybe you guys remind this person of an ex or yeah, they've got some issues. This person doesn't trust people. That's what it is. They're like, you're too good to be true. I think that's what this person is saying. So this is somebody who does a lot of self-sabotage. Clearly, they're very cold and detached. This person is most likely single for some of you. Others of you, they could be in a relationship. I don't know. But for a lot of you, this is someone who doesn't even allow people to get close to them because um they've had trauma and i feel like this could definitely be a capricorn or an aquarius or a cancer um but i'm getting like i don't i just lost it i was saying something and i lost it yeah they don't want you to know um they definitely watch you a lot too and they act like they don't oh trinity thank you for buying a badge um i'm just i'm learning about these little badge things so you guys get the badges i'm gonna learn more about them like what's that about but thank you for the badge um for getting a badge i just found out about it today they just they instagram just totally bypassed i was trying to like stuff and they just like oh here's badges i'm like hey i didn't ask for that but thanks oh you guys gotta know oh thank you See, y'all love me. I'm so spoiled. But yeah, they watch you a lot and they act like they don't. This is someone who acts like they don't watch you, but they do. Okay, even if it's a fake profile or something with King of Swords, he's very stealthy at um, watching you, especially when they're alone like this or when you're not talking to them. They're watching you a lot to find out what you're doing. And yeah, they wait to hit for you to hit them up. And you probably don't because you're in the Queen of Wands energy. And then they wind up hitting you up. They can't help it. This person is stubborn as fuck, and it's actually not. Who is it helping? Who who is it helping, Lord? <sighs> All right. Well, thank you guys um, for the badges. It's just like I guess it helps you guys be stand out in the comments and stuff, and it supports me. So I I appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because your person is kind of irritating, and um, I'm a little triggered. <laughs> so um yeah that's your reading guys i'll be on my other channel later on to do um talk it out tuesday so catch me on there in a little bit i'm about to finish up these readings and post them okay i'll see y'all soon bye